Here come Blackrock, led by their captain, Nick Timoney. Charlie Cregan leads out to St. Michael's side. And they're going to get a big roar as they come out in front of their supporters at the Bechtif Rangers end of this Donnybrook round. Let's take a quick look at the sides. Blackrock College first. They had a good win in the first round, scoring four tries and getting past CBC Monkstown. Dave O'Connor scored two of those tries from the back row. He switches to the second row as Connor Oliver comes in on the at open side flanker. Nick Timoney captains Blackrock today, playing at number eight. The only change in the back line is positional as Jack Power and Joey Carberry swap the 15 and 13 shirts. Right wing Zach O'Hagan started in last year's final while the halfbacks Tristan Brady and Sean Kearns were both on the bench for that Black Rock success. St. Michael's have a couple of changes of personnel in the back line and some positional changes following the hard-fought win over Terenure. Robin Cosgrave starts at 10. Matthew Gilson and moves to 12 while Oshin Amara switches from inside centre to the left wing. The other change sees Tom Maloney starting on the right wing. St. Michael's have a powerful and experienced pack. Harry Redmond, James Ryan, Alex Penny and today's captain Charlie Cregan all started in last year's final. Number eight, Max Deegan was on the bench for that final. He and hooker Ro Robin Ronan Kelleher were the try scorers in round one. Wrestling to keep the ball free and it's there. Cregan always oh, looks a real threat early in this game for St. Michael's. Well marshalled once again by the Black Rock defence. James Ryan. Last foot black. Couldn't wriggle his way through, the ball moved now. Cosgrave moves it on, is the one extra with quick hands here, the pass. Maybe went a little forward, just quite, didn't go quite to hand. The referee is bringing play back for a penalty. Gilson in 16 or 17 metres in from the touchline, sends that on its way. Oh, it's a good contact, excellent kick from Gilson. And Joey Carberry looking for support, goes in field. Zach O'Hagan. A real threat in the Black Rock Michael back line. East, Michael St. Michael's, Michael's defending well. Have they conceded penalty? Yes, they have. Not releasing in the tackle. Sean Kearns with the opportunity to level the scores. He's given it a mighty thump. Has it got enough? Just about has. That's a superb kick by Sean Kearns. Turnover in the scrum from Blackrock. Stop eight metres short of the line. The ball has moved quickly. Brady throws it. One more power out wide. Is it going to be a touchdown? The touch is fine. Dudley Phillips wants a word with the touch judge. The decision is a try. And Blackrock get the first try of the game. Just short of 30 minutes gone. Will you see this, Timoney? Turned over in the scrum. Straight pumps the legs. Watch this. Into contact. Great support. And then this fastball was key. I thought Michaels had numbers initially. Great hands at the end. Defending on the front foot here. Pick and go. Referee's arm shoots out. Penalty advantage coming. So St. Michaels will get the chance to narrow the score. Gilson and this is a very very important kick for St. Michael's Gilson and kept his concentration gave it another good strike through the uprights referee blows the halftime whistle the referee's arm is out advantage being played here for Black Rock still paying advantage white Back on the Black Rock side now. The whistle goes, no advantage. St. Michael's coming in from the side. Kearns two steps up to the ball, chips it through the uprights. Black Rock extend that lead back to five points. Brady has to play it, keeps the ball tight. And a pick and go once again. This is energy sapping stuff for the defenders. And all the Blackrock players waiting wide, screaming for the ball here. 
A little change of direction, O'Connor goes this time, stopped five metres short of the line. Now the ball moved a little bit wider, Kearns moves it on, is there an opportunity well, for the touchdown here? There is a need! Jack Power, the vice captain, gets in. He had a man outside, but he backed himself. And an excellent finish, a big, the real team try, Aidan. Absolutely, and really well done. That's Grumpf, look at that brave touchdown as well. That's the strength to get the ball back. Lockman with the pick and drive. It takes three St. Michael's players to stop him. The ball is there. Black Rock under the post. It's not coming back quickly enough. No advantage accruing. Referee stops the clock. He wants a word with a St. Michael's player. Is he reaching for the pocket? I think he is. There's a yellow card. That makes the decision. You go for this scrum. There's going to be space in the pitch. Go for this scrum. inside the 22 he finds the touchline but Dudley Phillips says that's enough he blows the full-time whistle final score Blackrock 16 St Michael 6 with me the Blackrock College coach Peter Smith Peter congratulations that was a great win yeah no delighted with it and uh, snowstorm as well to add in and I'm um, very proud of the boys the way they adapted to those conditions it was uh, it was very very difficult on the ground there and uh, just delighted for them we're through to the next round yeah, hard battle against St. Michael's. They put it up to you, but you stuck to the task really well right to the end. Yeah, no, they always do. And, you know, we have a serious rivalry going on at the moment with um, the final last year and obviously this year. And we feel ourselves very fortunate to come on the right side, those two results. But we're not taking anything for granted. Both those games could have gone either way. So they had a good game today as well. So, again, it was very tight. OK, with me also is Nick Timoney. Before you get a little bit cold, Nick, how are you feeling after that? Just a lot to get through it. Uh, absolutely wrecked. It was a tough match and we're just happy to get through it alive. So. So that, I see you put the ball into the scrum at some stage. I, yeah, I'm trying to move the nine, so I don't know if he's, Peter's really, really having it, but uh, yeah, that was just a move we had, but it didn't really work out. But How did you find playing in the snow? Was it tricky? Yeah, I couldn't really see for at times. I didn't expect the snow, so uh, it was tough. We had to adapt, but uh, it was the same for both sides. So, uh, very good. Congratulations. Well done, Nick. Thanks very much. Thanks very much.